lawsuit has been filed against the state of Tennessee claiming illegal and unconstitutional neglect and mistreatment of youth in the state of Tennessee. Joe, one of the facilities facing allegations of neglect, John Wilder Youth Development Center in Fayette County. Action News 5's Tavarius Haywood spoke with the Disability Rights of Tennessee, the organization representing three young people named as plaintiffs in the lawsuit. The lawsuit involved 321. The lawsuit involves two boys, ages 12 and 17, and a 15-year-old girl. Now, I spoke with the folks over at the Disability Rights Tennessee, and they say that the kids involved all have some sort of mental health issue. Now, the DRT says they are concerned that kids in DCS's custody may not be getting what they need. Jack Derryberry is the legal director for the Disability Rights Tennessee. He says children with disabilities are overrepresented in the juvenile justice system. Derryberry says the state simply needs to take better care of kids. That there needs to be better, uh, more complete uh, evaluation. Uh, development of programs, uh, development of reasonable accommodations. John S. Wilder Youth Development Center is mentioned quite a bit in the lawsuit. It says that youth say the true at Wilder has had holes in the walls, mold, roaches, spiders, mosquitoes, and lizards. The suit also says youth have seen blood left on the walls of the dorms from others self-injuring themselves during mental health crises. Uh, they won't get the transition services and so they're just sent out into the community uh, with no follow up and uh, unfortunate or bad things can happen. The lawsuit is against the state of Tennessee, the Tennessee Department of Children's Services, DCS's Commissioner Margie Quinn, and the Commissioner of Tennessee's Department of Education, Lindsaynette Gonzalez Reynolds. According to court documents at Wilder, there are reports of a widespread practice called dorm racking, which is when children are forced to fight every member of their dorm to become initiated into the dorm. Still concerned about youth on youth um, violence at the facility. And so I think that our, you know, the concerns we've had uh, are still there. The lawsuit states that one person was severely beaten four times at Wilder and was housed in protective custody near his attackers, making him fear for his life and causing extreme emotional distress. 65 to 85% of youth in juvenile justice have disabilities. So we would hope that the state would uh, address the reasonable accommodation and we would hope that it would keep youth safe. 